Hi everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In today's video, we are going to dive into Angular and learn how to get index in for loop. We will cover both the traditional ng for directive and the new for directive introduced in Angular 17. So let's get started. First, let's look at the traditional way using the ng for directive. So this is how we used to do it in the previous version of Angular. In this example, items is the array we are looping through and i is the current index of the loop. So it's simple and effective. Now let's see it in the action and use this method to display a list of items with their indexes. I'm using app.component to demonstrate that. So in the app.component.ts, I will add some items by using the array as it is going to contain the strings. So now let's add some text in it and now let's go back to the app.component.html and here I will add the ul tag and within that we will add the li tag and here I will add the ng for loop and within that I will add let item of items and let i is equal to index okay now let's print it in between the list tag save it okay now let's preview it in the browser so you can see that we have the list of all of the items along with their index awesome now let's move on to the new for directive introduced in angular 17 so this new syntax is more concise and easier to read so go back to the app.component.html and here I will get rid of all of this and instead of that let's wrap this list tag between the for and within that for I will type item of items semicolon track item semicolon and then let index is equal to index okay now you can use that index variable here between the list tag save it okay you can see that it is still working with this new directive the index is a special variable that holds the current index of the iteration it starts from the zero just like with the ng4 directive and that's it you have now seen how to get the index in a for loop using both the traditional ng4 directive and the new for directive in angular 17. i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to iastack for more tutorials like this if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video